Hello everybody, this is Emery48 here and welcome back to another video. I hope you all enjoyed your Christmas. Now today we are going over something that kind of relates to Christmas, but also, you know, kind of doesn't. We are doing quizzes instead of a tier list because I could not find a tier list about New Year's resolutions, but I could find some BuzzFeed quizzes. So we have make a 12 days of Christmas a new 12 days of Christmas to get a personalized New Year's resolution. Which I thought was the most interesting New Year's resolution thing because some of them was like talking about what your New Year's resolution was for this year. And that feels kind of, you know, cheating. If the quiz is asking you what you want to improve on already and whether or not you did, then it probably can just guess what your new New Year's resolution is. <clears throat> this one's fairly random. And I'm very close to finishing last year's New Year's resolution, so let's see if we can get a new one, because I hadn't really thought about one yet. What do you want on your first day of Christmas? A bingeable Netflix show, a Popeye's biscuit, a $19 Fortnite card, a Nicholas Sparks novel, a cute outfit, or I'll stick with the partridge. Thanks. Honestly, the best thing here is a $19 Fortnite gift card worth the most number one unless the cute outfits you know expensive that possibly a partridge in a pear tree could be fairly expensive but the fortnite card is definitely worth the most what do you want on your second day two laughable memes two chanel bags two starbucks lattes two minecraft servers two fuzzy socks what does who doesn't want a turtle dove I'll go with the Minecraft servers, I guess. It's not really worth much, but what about your third day? Three bottles of beer, three packs of gum, three Frenchmen, uh, three free months of Spotify premium, three puppies, and I'm a hold on to tradition, son. It's either packs of gum or beer go with the beer i got a pack of gum for christmas so i've already got that what for your fourth day four tiffany rings four apple pies that's nah, tempting four facial masks four heads sets of headphones that's excessive four teslas that's by far the uh most expensive thing and four teslas i would barely even ever need to charge it i guess what about your fifth day five soft blankets right. five mixology sets eh. five dollars simple Five nice sets of china, no, that's pointless. Five bottles of hot sauce, or just give me the golden rings. Um, let's go with the mixology sets, learn a new skill. What will you pick for your six day? Six baby kittens, definitely not. Six diamond rings, eh. Six acres of land, that's tempting. Six streaming services, oh, I've already got a couple. Six Jolly Ranchers, that's really pointless. Keep it the same for me. We'll go six acres of land. That'd be awesome. Very valuable in this uh, economy. Your seventh day. Seven days in Paris, that's cool. Seven cute swimsuits, no thank you. Seven dozen tulips, that seems excessive. Seven rings, okay, they're really pushing the rings here. Seven vinyls, I know some people that would like that. Uh, swans are fine, thanks. I'd go seven days in Paris. That sounds like a lot of fun. Anything special for your eight days? Eight chicken tenders. Ooh, that's hard to pass up. Eight pairs of guess jeans. I'm fine. Eight body washes? I, I can wash my body at any time. Eight gel pens. Eight sapphire bracelets. Those last two are pretty lame. I like the original song. No, we'll go with eight chicken tenders. Ninth day. We got beer and chicken tenders so far. That's not a bad meal, I guess. Nine gift cards. I guess it depends on where and how much. Nine ping pong balls. It's kind of pointless. Nine Funko Pops. I'm not into those. Nine tubs of Froyo. No, thank you. Nine sets of acrylics. Uh, but I love ladies dancing. I'll go with the gift cards. <clears throat> Tenth day. Ten hours of the office. That sounds awful. Uh, ten autographs. That's tempting. Ten cocktails. Eh. Ten bowling balls. Ten mini mics. I'll take the autographs, I guess. I don't know. None of those were especially thrilling. You're almost there. Pick something for your 11th. 11 shots of vodka. 11 muffin pans. Interesting. 11 Harry Potter fanfics. I'd rather not. 
uh, 11 Discord servers. I'm practically in that many at this point anyway. I don't really need more. $11 worth of ramen. This is probably worth like 110 bucks in a city, so we'll go with that. Finally, the 12th day. 12 inches of snow. No. 12 llamas. No. 12 plates of sushi. No. 12 weighted blankets. No. 12 Call of Duty skins. The best one there. I don't have Call of Duty much anymore. Be more budget friendly. All good things come to those who wait. Is that just because I picked the things that were actually worth money? You're offering to give me something, so I would pick the thing worth money. Okay. Uh, we are going to switch to something not at all New Year's or Christmas, but I saw this quiz and I was intrigued. Don't you think it's strange that I can guess your relationship status based solely on your bagel preferences? I A, want to see if this quiz can figure out that I'm single. B, want to know if I'm single because of my bagel preferences. This could be a key here. Might need a change of my order, apparently. Pick a standard flavor, everything, egg, or plain. Go with plain. Out of those options. Next, pick a bagel and cream cheese combo. Plain bagel with cream cheese, egg bagel with veggie cream cheese, or everything bagel with plain cream cheese. Well, I'll take my plain bagel again with plain cream cheese. I don't know why my bagel option would change there, but okay. Pick a bagel with toppings. Bagel with lox and capers. Bagel with peanut butter and jelly. Bagel with Nutella and strawberries. Now that, that's a nice option. I have a bagel with peanut butter most days for my breakfast. Don't know why they're adding jelly to that. And I would eat it with lox. I wouldn't add the capers. Pick an egg sandwich bagel. Tomato, egg, ham, cheese, lettuce, egg, and veggie sausage. Bacon, spinach, egg, and cheese. Heck yeah, that sounds awesome. Pick a sweet bagel. Rainbow, cinnamon, raisin, blueberry. My go-to bagel is cinnamon raisin, so that's easy. Pick another bagel flavor. Cheese, cinnamon, sugar. Ooh, that's almost a donut or sesame. Both of these are good. Uh, because my go-to is cinnamon raisin, my backup out of these would probably be cheese. Pick another bagel sandwich. Cheese, ham, lettuce, and tomato. Chicken or chickpea salad with lettuce. They're two very different things. Bacon, egg, and cheese. Easy. Lastly, pick a side dish for your bagel feast. Fries? No. Bagel? I don't need fries. Fruit bowls? Tempting. Pickles? No. I don't really want pickles with a bagel. So we'll go with the fruit bowl. In a relationship? Wrong. In your relationship era, you're in love. That's just false. No complicated situationships, awkward first dates, or arduous dating app swiping for you. Instead, you're having fun date nights 24-7. Well, at least my bagel isn't the reason why I'm single, because it couldn't figure that out on its own. Let me know if there are other quizzes you want to see me do, and if you take these quizzes, let me know your result. Thank you everybody so much for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.